It is widely known that Israel Adesanya hates Drikus Duplessis based on the color of his skin and the place of his birth. Izzy has exhibited a pattern of racism. This has been most recently capped off with his insanely racist tirade against Drikus Duplessis after the latter's victory over Rob Whitaker. <laughs> As we can see here, Izzy is experiencing uncontrollable hatred that causes him to use so many racial slurs to refer to Drickus. I need a 36 and me. You, you know, 26 and me. I will show you where you're from. This is amazingly based. Absolutely, this man. That's what it is. It's an easy fight. I manifested this. Look at me. Hey, look at me. Come here. Just feel, just feel me. Feel me. We need to normalize behavior like this. I know a lot of you hate Izzy, understandably, and are looking for ways to cancel him. But don't pretend you wouldn't think it was the coolest thing ever if Drickus went on this rant against Izzy. Once again, we need to normalize toxic racism, not demonize it. Some of you might be saying, oh, Izzy was just drunk, Izzy was just on cocaine, you know, explain away his behavior. But my friends, drunk deeds are sober thoughts. Israel Adesanya knew he would have to get into the octagon, no matter who won the Whitaker Duplessis matchup. But he decided to allegedly get drunk and do drugs in the crowd and then get in the octagon and say so many racial slurs. That's pretty fucking cool. Izzy is undeniably racist, but this can come across as confusing at times because he is the product of so many different ideologies. As he spent his childhood years in Nigeria, where he would have internalized tribal and classist attitudes. Nigeria is a highly stratified country. Izzy himself grew up with servants. And while this has been changing in recent decades, Nigerians still have an extremely classist worldview. Furthermore, there are deep tribal divisions within Nigeria. They had a civil war over Biafran independence, which was largely between Igbos on one side and Yoruba and Hausa on the other. He then went to New Zealand, where he would have been brainwashed with post-colonial and decolonial ideology, as they're known for over there. New Zealand is an extremely progressive country, especially in terms of colonization and decolonization. Not only that, they like to project their own views onto the rest of the world. I'm sorry, Kiwis, just because you have a specific colonial mindset does not mean South Africans need to have the same as you. He then went to China, where they're known to make white people and black people alike sit outside of restaurants like dirt. They touch black people's hair on buses and you can't do anything about it because what are you going to do when 50 Chinese people are just touching your afro? Plus, there is the famous clip where the guys are yelling at the basketball players, do 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 China! do 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 China! And then say the Izzy's favorite word. Oh, what's up? Let's go. What's up? For those of you who don't know much about the Han Chinese, they don't give a shit what your background or ethnicity is. If you aren't Han Chinese and you don't speak Mandarin, you are dirt. I don't necessarily agree with this take, but it's extremely based. This must have had a massive impact on Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya probably has all sorts of strange ideas swirling around in his head. He considered himself a black Chinese man who is also Nigerian and New Zealand, er, Kiwi. We see it manifest, it comes out of him, it's fucking awesome. Stop trying to cancel the guy. Stop trying to get him to stop doing this behavior. It's great for the sport. Let's look at some of Izzy's own statements. Cam, knowing your history, I have never questioned him as an African because yeah, you were born in Africa, South Africa. Of course you're an African. I've never questioned that. As a product of colonization, you're trying to tell me who the fuck I am. You can take the boy out of Africa, but you can never take the Africa out of, out of the boy. Here, Izzy is projecting his worldview onto Drickus. Izzy was brainwashed by the New Zealand public school system, and he associates colonialism with white people for some reason. 
Never use your anger in an emotional way. Absolutely, this man. That's what it is. It's an easy fight. I manifested this. But look at me. Stare off. Just saying. Look at me. Feel me. Feel me. You can use the anger to fuel you and be deadly. I'm gonna torture this guy. You have, you have not. No, trust me, I understand. Man. Bro, I'm gonna do it. Like my ancestors are gonna just, just like my, just, yeah. You're gonna be into this black? Yeah, on that. <laughs> <laughs> Be a real African then. Gonna be one of us, Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Free Mandela. Uh, Here, Izzy says he will treat Drakus like his ancestors and beat him black. This is the best statement Izzy's ever made. It's crazily based. Izzy's ancestors are Yoruba slave traders and slave owner owners. They loved slavery so much that they literally covertly did it after britain outlawed the practice based i mean you don't have to create division this is not the time for division you could have definitely got the fight without talking all that shit. but now you be careful what you wish for you got what you want so yeah he's next and i'm gonna fucking beat him till he's black the yoruba people contributed significant cultural and economic influence upon the atlantic slave trade during its run from approximately 1400 a.d until 1900 a.d from 1400 onward, the Oyo Empire's imperial success made the Yoruba language a lingua franca across the shores of the Volta. Towards the end of the 18th century, Oyo directed more effort towards trading and acting as middlemen for both the Trans-Saharan and Atlantic slave trades. Thanks to the domination of the East, Oyo merchants were able to trade with Europeans at Porto Novo. Here, the Oyo Empire's captives and criminals were sold to Dutch and Portuguese buyers. Dutch buyers. It's quite sad that the ancestors of Israel Adesanya and Drikus Duplessis got along better than they do. The statistical likelihood of Israel Adesanya's ancestors not even that far back, owning slaves, trading slaves, being involved in the transatlantic slave trade, as well as the trans-Saharan slave trade, very high. I know for a fact he's aware of that, which makes this statement all the better. To conclude, Izzy is 10 out of 10 racist, but it's very confusing and fun type. He seems to be a combination of Yoruba supremacy, high class aristocratic mentality, post-colonial progressive New Zealander, and just extraordinarily xenophobic Han Chinese. He just made me a fan. I never thought I'd say these words. Izzy, we all support you. Keep it up. Keep making the UFC toxic. Demon Bobby. Demon Mommy.